welcome to the Creatives Get Real podcast. I'm Robin Marie Smith. And I'm Sandy Keen. And these are real conversations about the creative life. Hello, hello, Robin Marie. Hello, Sandy. How's it going? It's going pretty good over here. How mm-hmm. about there? Yes, can't complain. Everything's going well. Good. Well, we had so much fun on our last topic, which, which was about using these you know, big blocks of time to improve yourself. And we talked about creativity. We thought we would do the exact same thing, but talk about, let's say that you want or have a creative business. What could you be doing during this time or a time like this to boost your business? That's right. Boost, build, improve, all of that. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because it's it's such a weird time right now. It's not a time that people are open to lots and lots of marketing Mm -hmm. or that kind of thing. So it's a great time to be doing things behind the scenes to improve your business. Absolutely. So let's talk about them. Because again, it's better than eating the second bag of cookies. Well, I know. That's debatable. <laughs> it's better for you than <laughs> eating the second bag of cookies. Says says the woman who's got a pantry full of Milano's. Yes. Um, yes. Toasted marshmallows. Toasted marshmallows. Milano's. Milano's. That's, That's right. why I keep bringing up eating the bag of cookies because I, I am now an expert <laughs> at devouring a bag of cookies. Oh, Thank you very much. Yeah, my husband won't buy them for me. He does the grocery shopping and he he's not buying cookies. I'm just like, really? When he comes home and the bags are opening up, I'm looking through them and he goes, there's no cookies in there. <laughs> he's like, go back and try again. I know. I'm going to have to order them from Amazon if I can get them. <laughs> oh, look, cookies in three weeks. I Yay. know. <laughs> Exactly. You just come to my house. I'll hook you up. Oh my gosh. We digress. See, we're talking about food. We're talking about food again. So, all right, Missy, what's the first one on our list? This is a great time to build your social media audience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone is online. Everyone is on Instagram and Facebook. They are looking for inspiration. They're looking for entertainment. Now is a great time. Mm -hmm. And just a couple of ideas are consistent posting means if you can post every day or every other day, now's the time to do it. Comment on other people's posts. And if you have the skill set of being able to post a video on Instagram, that will jump your numbers bigger Mm -hmm. than anything else. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Video. Videos capture people's attention. Mm -hmm. We all know what it's like. You see a video, especially, I mean, for me, if Mm -hmm. somebody's color swatching, Mm -hmm. I'm there. Mm -hmm. I I don't care what I'm doing. (laughs) I'm glued to it. Like, oh, look at those colors flow. What's the next color? Mm-hmm. You know, there's a hashtag. I, I actually tune into it from time to time. The um, I think it's color swatches or watercolor swatches or something like that. I think of you whenever I'm looking through it because I'm like, oh, yeah. Sandy would like that. I need to but, follow that hashtag. Yeah. But it's but you're right. It is it is definitely. I have seen a dramatic change in my account since well beginning of the year. I mean, I'm I'm employing some strategies. I say strategies, but some things that. I'm testing. You're always looking to see what, you know, what's working, what's not working. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I've noticed a huge jump in uh, since we've gone into quarantine is um, all of my direct messages. Um, It is like, oh my gosh. I mean, it's like every day there's just so many direct messages and I love it, but it's, there's more time spent on social, on Instagram because of commenting and the direct messages and responding back. It is, it is absolutely, it's absolutely changed since we've all been at home. People are spending more time there. I mean, it's just yeah. a fact. And I think seeking connection too. And that's why people are direct messaging mm-hmm. at a, a larger, yes. and even commenting at a larger rate than they used yes. to because they're seeking that mm-hmm. connection with absolutely. people mm-hmm. who, are, who are also creative. Yep, absolutely. Good one. So that's a biggie. Uh huh. Okay. So the next one is either creating your website or updating the website that you have. And this I've seen a huge increase in, um, as 
many people have not just signed up for Makers Tech U, um, my tech membership where I teach many things tech, but one of the main things I'm seeing right now is the desire to get their websites done or update the ones they have, predominantly creating it. You know, it's one of those things where I think we're busy and there's lots of things going on and so we kind of prioritize and that seems to be the thing that has been kind of left in the, the back or on the back burner. And now okay. that so many creatives have time in their home, they're like, I'm gonna utilize this time right now to do this and get it done because I have the time to do it. And so right. I'm seeing a, a large increase in that. And it's been awesome when I go in and I see the progress that so many of them are making, it really gets me excited because I know that they're getting ready to reach that goal that they have. And it's like, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So, um, and if you already have one, go in there and refresh it, update. Yeah, um, I just did that. Yeah, it's a great time to do that. And it doesn't have to be this whole rebrand. Just go in there mm -mm. and look at your gallery. Look at your, your videos that you've promoted. Look at your blog post. When's the last time you blogged? Do you want to blog? Should you be blogging? That's another conversation. But go in there and do some update. When's the last time you updated your profile picture, your bio right. page? Those are little things that you can do that can really um, give you some confidence and check off a few things on the list, but they're mm -hmm. perfect things to be doing right now. Right, and one of the things I did, just like you said, was I updated my photos mm -hmm. because um, the photos of my work were probably close to a year old now. Yep. I don't remember exactly when I launched, mm -hmm. when you, fin you launched um, <laughs> my website for me, but um, yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, these pictures have been stagnant for a year. Mm -hmm. I need to put new photos up and I did do that. So I'm mm -hmm. proud of myself that I yes. did do it. Yeah, I need to do it. I need to update mine, but you know, I just it, prioritizing things and sometimes that slips a little bit to the wayside. But I think if you can just pick one thing to update, it won't seem as overwhelming. If you go, I have mm -hmm. all these things, just pick one thing, like you said, updating those images and then, wow, it freshens it up. It's amazing just what that will do for your website. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mine is learn about affiliate programs. When you're in business, um, mm -hmm. you, when you're suggesting and recommending uh, supplies and you're putting them on supply lists for classes, you might as well have these companies pay you for recommending product and getting people onto their sites. So this is a great time to learn about affiliate programs. And mm -hmm. probably the simplest one is just to do the Amazon affiliate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you can just start there. And um, you know, you're not gonna get rich off an affiliate program as a creative, but let's say it just pays for your supplies. That's right. I mean, how great is that when you're mm -hmm. like, I need new watercolor or I need new paper or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you go in and you're like, oh, I have $23 sitting here. <laughs> Fine. This is free. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And just recently, um, Amazon did change their program. They unfortunately have made a lot of cutbacks in it. I don't know all the details, but they're, they're definitely cutting back on the percentages on percentages. A lot of the categories. Yeah. But don't let that discourage you from doing it. It's, it's, Am it's Amazon. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, he just dropped off a package. That figure. See there? I said the word. Yeah, that's just crazy coincidental. I have no idea what I was saying before the dog bark, but I'll say. Um, they've changed. Start with, they've changed their affiliate yeah. program. Yeah. So Amazon has made some changes in their affiliate program. Um, they've lowered some of the percentage rates in some of the categories. But don't let that discourage you. Because like Sandy said, even if it's you know, $20, $30 here and there a month, that, that'll buy you a new paintbrush. That'll buy you some paper. Um, mm -hmm. just, you know, stock it up or whatever until you do need something. If you're going to promote a product, then go ahead and associate an affiliate with it and right. apply for the program and learn about how to set it up so that you can then take advantage of that. Yeah. For right. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't cost anything to mm -hmm. your, your people who are buying oh. things from you. That's it's right. just the company like Amazon or Dick Blick or whoever mm -hmm. you're doing it through. They're actually giving you a small, let's admit small, small. <laughs> stipend reward for yep. bringing people to their site. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's worth looking into and doing. Definitely. And, yeah. And then just be aware of the, um, the legalities of disclosure and make sure you research that so that you have that on your website as well. Right. So just explain a little bit what that means. Uh, basically it's saying that 
I, some of the links on my site or these links that I'm showing are affiliated with Amazon or whoever. And I do earn a commission if someone makes a purchase from this. It doesn't cost you anything. I often will put down that I only promote products that I use and that I would, you know, that I enjoy and love myself just so that right. it's clear. Yeah. I think a lot of us already know that, but there's a lot of slimy stuff out there. So you just have to disclose that you're, mm -hmm. you're using links that are affiliated. Yeah. Keep mm -hmm. everybody honest. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So the next one is either join a business type of class or a membership to where you can increase your knowledge, get into a community where you can support one another. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say makers tech you, the doors are open for that. And basically that is a, um, a membership where I am helping other creatives and makers with pretty much all the tech of everything, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. building your website, it's helping them with social media, Instagram, video editing, your online shop, your blog. There's a lot of content in there. Graphics. <laughs> Graphics. Yeah. Where it's, I'm kind of doing the heavy lifting and the work to get it to where you just go in and you watch the videos and you, you, you know, have everything presented the way you want it. But the unique thing about it is, is that I'm presenting that information to the members from the perspective of an artist and a creative, not mm -hmm. someone who, you know, is a fitness guru and I'm showing you how to do a website. It, right. It's literally speaking to that artist and that creative. And, you know, and there may be another class out there. Maybe there's something that's very specific to, um, maybe it's a, it's a complete and total Instagram course where you're like, I'm starting from zero and I need to go from, you know, point A to point Z. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of options out there, but take advantage of it. And if it's a membership, just join for a couple of months. If you feel like you can get the benefit in a few months, then you can go ahead and unsubscribe and come back later if you want to. But utilize mm -hmm. this time um, to connect with a community and take advantage of the offerings that are out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try something new. Exactly. Because here's the thing that I've learned about um, what a lot of the members have told me in Makers Tech U is that I went ahead and started where you said, this is a good place to start when you come in. Even though I thought I already knew everything about Instagram, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I so don't. I'm learning so many things. And so right. that don't, and I even take that mindset too, that even I don't know everything and I'm always learning something new and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you might think, well, I've been using Instagram for years. I kind of know, no, there's so many things to learn out there. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it makes your, your experience better mm -hmm. because you're going to grow your audience. You're going to meet your goals faster. That's right. So yeah, you might be doing it, but what if there's a better way to do mm -hmm. it? That's exactly why wouldn't right. you use that? That's right. That's right. Okay. Next mine is build your email list. Mm -hmm. um, this is when you have a website usually. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be a shop or an Etsy shop that you're mm -hmm. gathering emails, mm -hmm. but you want to start building your list. And what this does is it gives you a customer base that you own. That's right. You own that list. Mm -hmm. So if you're just using Instagram or you're just using Facebook, if that platform changes its algorithms or it goes away, it, it falls out of favor, or it's um, knocked off the internet by hackers, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you lose everything. Mm -hmm. But if you have an email list, that's yours and you can keep it for forever. So I know that Robin and I both recommend when you're starting an email list to have some sort of download or freebie mm -hmm. that you offer people yep. in exchange for their email address mm -hmm. and to thank them for giving it to you. Mm -hmm. And that's a great way to get your numbers up. Yeah. And I mean, and building your, your email list, there's so many, there's so much value to it. One, these are people that are saying, I like what you have. I like what you're doing. Here's my email address. Reach out and contact me. Okay. Hello. That is, that's like gold. They're, they're mm -hmm. already, they're going to be a warm audience to you. So when you then you nurture them and we're going to talk about that in the next uh, point where you then have something that you want to offer that's for sale. They already know who you are. They're like your go-to for that. You, you know, right. they're, they've said to you, I want to know what you're doing. Tell me about it. So yeah. it's a whole lot easier to email to them that you have a brand new course and let them know about it and make them feel special by whatever it is you're doing an early pricing or whatever than it is to just put a post out on Instagram and hope people see it. 
If they don't mm -hmm. know you, it's a little harder for people to kind of go, yeah, I'll give you money for that class if they right. don't really know who you are. And so mm -hmm. the list building is important. And yes, I think sometimes it slips. It's sort of like, well, I don't know what to send anybody, so I'm just not going to do it. Well, you, you're, you're, you're wasting time. You're losing traction if you don't start it right away. Like that's one mm -hmm. of the first things you need to start building that email list. So it's, it's a crucial step, I think, in this you know, boosting your business, growing your business, your following, it's all part of the process. Mm -hmm. Which okay. leads in to sending a newsletter, which right. is important. And I kind of I see these as two categories. One is when you're list building and you're, you're getting people to sign up on your list, you need to have a way for them to get to know you right out of the gate. And I mm -hmm. call that, you know, it's either a warm up sequence or a welcome sequence. It's a, it's a number of emails, you know, two to three to four can be more where you're saying, hello, here's who I am. And here's what I do. Here's what I'm about. Here's what you can expect from me. Here's what mm -hmm. I'm going to send you. Here's what I'm going to share. And then maybe in the next email, you direct them to some free tutorials that you have on your website. Maybe in the next one, you know, you share a funny story with them and you give them some insight into who you are. So it's a way for them to get to know you, have them reach out to you and share some information about themselves with you and then respond to those emails when they send them. And then from there, you can funnel them in or filter them into what you do as a newsletter, whether it's weekly or bi-weekly, where you give them updates, you let them know what's going on. So they feel like they're connected to you. If you get somebody to sign up to your list and you never send them an email, well, that's, a, that's a, <laughs> you know, hello, you know, yep. or you're inconsistent and you don't send an email out for six months, then all of a sudden, I get this email from somebody. I'm like, I don't even know who you are. Did I, when did right. I sign up to your email list? Because they're not in front of me. And so keeping that information out there and in front of them and, you know, nurturing that relationship through the connection of your newsletter and your list right. is so important. So important. It really is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Here's one that we've mentioned several times. Mm -hmm. I think this is like Trello. It's one of those, <laughs> one of those things that we constantly mention. And that is to spend yeah. some time upgrading your photography skills. This is a big deal. It's it such a big deal. Yeah. When you're on social media or if you've gone further, you're starting to create a class, you're doing tutorials, you need good photos. You want to sell product. You need a great photo of your product. That's right. So it's really important to... Um, upgrade those skills and that can be anything from taking a class buying perhaps you need to buy lighting maybe your lighting stinks so you want to buy some you know some mm -hmm. new lighting whether it's just more lamps bring them in for um, other rooms or if you want to buy some professional lighting sure. but start working on those and we have a whole episode on flat lays and that's a good one to go back and listen to mm -hmm. if you are interested in improving those photography skills and getting better. Yep, absolutely. If you have more time during, especially during this period or those down times and you are creating, then use that time as well to improve those skills in the photography area by taking photographs, multiple photographs at different angles of those things that you're creating. So important. So important. Yeah, that's just the first learn impression. Yeah. Yes. Just learn just basic <laughs> editing. If you can just mm -hmm. boost your brightness, boost your saturation. If you can only do those two things, that's right. That it, that's mm -hmm. enough to make a huge difference in yeah. your photography. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. The next one, find a coach, a what a coach, like a creative coach, life coach, someone that you can talk to and kind of brainstorm, but yet share, here's my ideas. Here's what I'm doing. Does this make sense? That coach is somebody who can help you. They ask the right questions to help you find the right path. And mm -hmm. Sandy is my coach. And I still look at it and go, okay, I'm not sure exactly how to describe what a coach does specifically. You know, it's like you almost, I almost know the answer sometimes or what I should or shouldn't do, but you present it in such a way that makes me think, okay, yes, you're right. You're right. Cause I get super excited about everything and I want to do it all. And I know I can't. So you explain a little bit more about that and why that is so beneficial 
to, um, to those of us that want to have a business or just need more direction in their creative journey, wherever that right. may lead. Mm -hmm. um, it's exactly what you said. Sometimes it's just validation mm -hmm. where it's like, yes, that is a fantastic idea. Jump on that baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Go, you got it. Yes. Do that. Yeah. And then sometimes you have so many ideas, you need help organizing your mm -hmm. ideas. Mm -hmm or you need help putting them, what's the order? What's the most important thing here? What should I start with? Yeah. So okay. those kind of things. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's finding your direction. Like mm -hmm. I have, I like these three things. I'm not sure which one I want to focus on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about, it. let's go through it. So coaching can be really helpful. Mm -hmm. I am a coach. I am a full up coach. That means I have no, <laughs> I have no slots available for people. Yeah. Um, it's really sad because I, I have to turn people away, but there are lots of coaches out there mm -hmm. and they're yeah. all different. You have to find the right one for you, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's a great relationship. Yeah, it really is. It's so important. That's why you have to find the right one for you. Correct. Yep. 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 Yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, find an accountability partner and help each other. This is a good one. Um, if you've got a friend or know someone on the internet who's in about the same place you are business wise, mm -hmm. reach out to them and ask, Hey, could we partner up? Can we just help mm -hmm. each other? Yeah. Can we keep, keep track of each other's progress and motivate, encourage mm -hmm. each other? This is so important. Um, and your point about where having you both sort of in that same rough area is so mm -hmm. important. Um, I, I have someone, I don't know if that I'd call it more an accountability, but it's a, we try to do monthly calls where we just brainstorm almost like a mastermind where we're helping each other. Hey, I've got this idea or they're struggling with something. It's like, well, have you thought of this? Because we're both kind of in that same, that same place in our business that we, mm -hmm. we can help each other. And it is so nice, especially when you are working alone or you're by yourself to have somebody who is understands that mindset of where you are and what you're trying right. to accomplish. And it makes a huge difference if you can find somebody or, and oftentimes, you know, depending on these groups that you're in, you might be able to find somebody in a Facebook group or um, these business type groups where you might be like, Hey, you know, this person kind of speaks my language and you know, we're kind of connecting and, and maybe it doesn't work out, but just be open to that because it really mm -hmm. does help. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, it does. It's so nice to have someone else to bounce yes. ideas yes. off of or yeah. be inspired by or mm -hmm. say, Hey, I tried this mm -hmm. and it didn't work at all. So don't waste your time. <laughs> Skip exactly. that step. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> don't try yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So our last one is barter skills. Um, you know, let's say you have the gift for video editing or creating graphics, and yet you are friends with, or you know, someone who struggles with, uh, that, and you struggle with copywriting and they're great at it. Talk to each mm -hmm. other and say, Hey, you know, if you can edit my video for me, you know, I'll do this for you or whatever. I'll that write your like. class description. Exactly. I mean, why not, you know, seek out those, those things. Cause we don't, we don't, I, I don't know that there's, we, there's anyone who has all the gifts, you know, who can do mm -hmm. it all. No one does we struggle through it if we don't, but wouldn't it be great to have somebody that you could go to and say, Hey, you know, I can't really afford to pay, but I can do this for you. Do you have something that, you know, you could whatever, or, you know, mm -hmm. that someone has that skill and you're like, Hey, would you like to trade? Definitely yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's, you know, I've seen your graphics and they're fantastic. They're so much better than mine. Mm -hmm. um, but I've also seen your writing and I can help you there. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably say it nicer than that. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. Yep. Sam says it really nice to me. But no, we all know hey, that I don't. Would, would you like me to edit that for you? <laughs> You don't have to ask me twice. Yes. <laughs> what can I do for you? <laughs> you know, cookies. It's, a, it's a great, yeah, cookies. It's a great feeling though, to know that that, I mean, that's a weight sometimes, or we procrastinate on things because we know we're not gifted and we're not skilled in it. And we're like, okay, now what do I do? So yeah, right. think about that guys. It's important to, you know, utilize your skills, get creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm going to recap them. Yeah, go right ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Build your social media audience. Build a website or update the one you have. Time for new photos. Mm-hmm. Learn about the affiliate program. Take a business class or join a membership. Build your email list. Send out a newsletter. Upgrade your photography skills. Find a coach. Find an accountability partner. And barter skills with other people. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. some great ideas there to get you started. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, those are good. I mean, pick one, pick two. And, and then, but, you know, maybe you can even look at these long term and say, okay, I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to work in doing, you know, another one later. I mean, obviously list build before you send a newsletter out, but right. think about what you want to send out. Think about what you're doing on your website and how that can be incorporated. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of these things kind of are, you know, they go and they mix together, but, um, but we hope that there maybe one, two, or if not all of these will inspire you to say, yeah, I'm going to give that one a try. I hope so. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you. All right. Y'all have an awesome day. Thank you for listening to this episode of Creatives Get Real. We love hearing from you. So hop on over to Instagram and leave us a comment. And we also appreciate reviews on iTunes. And you can find me, Sandy Keen, at sandykeen.com and my classes at popupartclasses.com. And you can find me, Robin Marie Smith, at robinmarie.com. And if you're looking for and need tech support, check out my membership site, makerstechu.com.